Boris? Hey, Boris? 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 Oh my gosh! Good YouTube lovers, this is Thinkable Rambo. Welcome back to another episode of Video Game. Today I'm back with my better quest on. I'm here for another episode of Bendy VR. Last time we took on chapter three, the longest and most tedious chapter of the game, but I was able to go through on a completely deathless run to get the Tommy gun to take out the projectionist. I also got to open that secret room that has the extra axe, and also apparently with the only audio log that I haven't actually heard in game at all by replays. And we also listened to Henry's secret audio log that pretty much confirms that he was the original creator of Bendy, not Joey. But this time we're taking on Chapter 4, which is my favorite chapter in this game because of the, how unique the different mechanics are and all the different areas that you go to. The boss fights, I think, are really, really fun. So I'm really looking forward to seeing all this up close, in personal, in VR. So let's go ahead, jump right into this, and visit Bendy Land, or what's left of it. All right, Joey. All right, Joey. I'm here. I'm here. Chapter 4, Colossal Wonders. Here we go. Rescue Boris. We're on level S. And so it begins. Yeah, this is where we left off. The elevator crashing at the end of Chapter 3, and Alice taking Boris from us, but I don't think it's going to be so easy to get it back, Henry. Alright. So, I know that I'm going to have to go to Cohen's office anyway, so I'm just going to head straight towards the archives because I got to trigger that whole interaction first. Definitely something missing here. Yep, thank you. Uh, find the missing turd wheel. All right, so let's go ahead back over here to Cohen's office. Really good. I feel like this chapter, you really get a sense of like, well, how the machine and all of Joey's antics really affected the employees here. Uh, creepy whispering. Fun. Alright, I got the turn wheel. Let's go ahead and listen to poor Grant. <laughs> yeah. Is this you, Grant? Is this you right here? Are you okay? Alrighty. Good talk, buddy. Good talk. Oh, yeah. And this is where the uh, the Meatly cutout is. So I, I am going to go ahead and check that out before we move on. I, ha I have been getting them in every chapter, but this one's really easy and straightforward. So go ahead and open the door. Hi, guys. I'm going to go check on this guy real fast, so... I'm going to say hi to the real creator, not Joey, the actual creator. Uh, we'll see what's going on. So... This door should be unlocked now. Yes, and there's the poster and some bacon soup. What the heck is this? That is a meat leaf, my friend. We got us barbecue here. Oh, sorry, but how are the leaves moving if there's no wind? I mean, we're underground, you're behind a wall. You know, there's like no doors or windows in this room. How, how is there wind? Do you have an explanation for me? All right, moving on. Just wanted to get that since it was a pretty straightforward one to grab at the beginning. I actually remembered where this one was. I don't remember where a couple of them are. All right. He will set us free. Locate the secret passage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again, it's basically a bunch of Sammies, but slightly less crazy. Only slightly, though. They're all a bit bad down here. All right. Hello, Susie. Want to talk about your rant for a bit? They told me. Uh huh. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow. Says he has an opportunity for me. About that opportunity. But if that smooth talker 
thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it? <laughs> well, oh, he's got. Well, he's gonna make you an angel. Like I said, they're all bad down here. What do you know? Alice of Wonderland reference to the actress of Alice. What? So that's how it works. That was a little disconcerting the way it snapped my head back into place because it did auto turn it, but that wasn't me looking up. It auto turned my view up there, but the, which was fine. It was the snap back that got me there. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and start finding all these books. Uh, there's one right here. Should be five of them. Curious. Are we going to have, like, the nightmare vision filter in VR? Okay, apparently not. Apparently, we don't get the the filter on everything, but the th everything does move. I guess that makes sense, because it does kind of warp the screen vision a bit, and then I'd imagine that'd be weird to do for VR without making everyone, like, really throw up and they're gone wonderful i was just, just kind of hoping for that because i thought that was such a cool thing to see uh especially because now that we know it's a cycle it kind of seems to imply that it's henry remembering the previous times that he's gone through this because you know he's gone through this like over a hundred times at this point enter the darkness oh hey i see that I see that C9 tool icon over there. Well, I don't have it on me yet. That, that'll be uh, next chapter. But to come to think of it, I am curious how that is going to work. The C9 tool in, in this VR mod. Is it going to like just put a filter over my face that like, sticks to my face as I look around? Or is it going to be something I physically hold up with my hand? To I kind of hope it's that. But if it's the other way, that, that's fine. Again, this is a free community-made VR mod. This is just nitpicky details at this point. I can get across here if I can find a way to fix this. Ah, uh, right. I do. I miss this crafting system. I wish this would come back in the cage or another game in the future. Oh, right, the radio. I can grab that too. Might as well. Because uh, I do like the whole concept of crafting with the ink. I wish that was a bit more in uh, Dark Revival. I do like that Dark Revival had more like resource management, but I wish there was a crafting system as well. Make it feel like a proper survival horror, you know? It definitely was more survival horror than this one, but I'd like a bit more crafting to make it even more evident. Come here, buddy. Come here. Thank you. I'll be taking this. <laughs> uh, this is going... The whole crafting concept is going to be very important when we get to the end of this chapter, I am just saying. Alright, so let's get this radio first. I actually don't remember which song this was. Which song are you? I, I can't put my finger... I think... Again, I might be wrong. I think this is the one that Random Encounters did that had Batpat voicing Bendy. If it's not, I will have the real one up on screen. Uh, and feel free to make fun of me for being an idiot. I just, I can't quite place that tune. I think it's the one from Random Encounters. Uh, I just can't be 100% sure. Uh, or is not the boat. All right, let's go ahead and fix the bridge. Give me the wheel. Got the gear. Slap that in there. There we go. I don't remember if you're able to fall off here uh, in the original game, and I'm not going to test that, because come to think of it, I haven't seen a respawn point, so you probably can't fall off, but it's much more disconcerting when you're physically able to bend o over like and look down, so uh, I'm not doing that. Alrighty. We're good, right? See, that is the opposite of good. This is what a, this is what we're trying to avoid here. Gears keep turning. There we go.
Let me out, please. See no problem at all. See, I'm a little disappointed we're not going to get the horror vision going down this hallway here, but I mean, I also appreciate the creepiness of this whole thing. Oh, yeah, no, I, I don't like that. That that That's like a million times worse, actually. Oh, hi, Ink Machine. How you doing? That was that was a nightmare, huh? Pretty bad. I see you there. Hey, Alice. You're angel is always watching. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you're watching from above. Is it the thrill of the hunt? The thirst for your freedom? Well or perhaps. Oh, or the lag from loading in all these new entities? That too. Definitely that part. <laughs> Better hurry, errand boy. Boris is having trouble staying in one piece. You are such a psycho, Alice. Oh, yeah. I'm. Don't worry. I'm seeing this frame rate drop as well. This is terrible on, on, for me in particular because I'm in the headset. But I know, I know that this section of the game, like right here, just this one room, lags out for even people playing the game normally when it first came out, because they're not not of optimization in this first game for all the entities behind this door. Hey, buddy. He always fights me. Oh no! I just want to go home. When do we go home? When do we go home? I'm sorry, dude. Again, like I said, this chapter really gives you more of an idea of the impact that Joey and everything had on just the regular people here. A.K.A. these guys. Hey. Just don't mind me. I'm just passing by. Oh my gosh. The way they look at you makes you feel the worse when they're like physically turning to look at you. Oh my gosh. I'm just passing through. Don't mind me. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, that one's still in a cage? Uh, oh, that well, that one's just straight up locked up. A couple of them there. No angels. He will set us free. Yeah, yeah, this is more Bendy's following. Like like I said, Sammy, but slightly less insane. That's not... That's not a pleasant sight. Uh, let's just crawl through the creepy vent, shall we? You guys still back there? You good? Alright. Okay. I knew you were gonna I knew you were gonna be here, I just thought it wasn't until I got closer. Where you going, Betty? Such great characters. I again I personally prefer the Ink Demon's design from Dark Revival because he's more demonic. Like with the, you know, the hooved feet and everything. Uh, but I do appreciate this one still. I, I, I don't hate this one now that we have the Dark Revival one. I just prefer... Just in general, I prefer the art direction of Dark Revival over this game. Hello? Who's that? That's a thing that's moving. Oh, buddy. Ignore my strobe light. For some reason, this is glitching. You don't need to do that, dude. Oh, you're reading Illusion of Living. You know what? Now I understand why you're hitting your head on a wall. Carry on. Yeah, Joey is uh, eccentric, to say the least. Probably forced everyone at the studio to read that book of his... Come on. I don't remember this flickering in the original. This I feel like this is just glitchy now. I mean, it does add a nice creepy effect, so I, if this isn't in the original game, I kind of wish it was. Alright, here we are. Uh, is this a giant respawn point? I mean, it kind of looks like the respawn statues. Oh, but I wonder if this was Sammy? Or if this is one of the other lost ones, because clearly they worship Bendy too. <laughs> Almost there. Yes, I know. 
Hello? Ah, uh, here we go. Whoa, hold on. Back up. Oh my gosh, that is a giant bendy face. I did not even realize that. That's cool. And look, you can really see, like, the fact that it's drawn in the art style of this game to look like it's cardboard because, you know, this is a world made entirely of paper and ink. That's really cool. All right. For 40 years, I've ah, Bertram. The I, one of the highlights of the game is coming up. It's with him. I don't doubt that. Right in front of everyone. High level investors, Wall Street tycoons. The ever tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that happens in the first novel, Dreams of the Life. I think I remember this. Yeah, you've got your own level of ego. Again, Joey did disrespect you, but... It doesn't make you automatically right about everything. You have a massive inflated ego. It completely undermines all the other people working on this project. Yes, this is your brainchild. But it takes, like, a small army of people to build a theme park. Just, I mean, just think about how big the Imagineering team is working on Disneyland. Dreams come true. Yeah, they do. Okay, now I can see the bendy head. The, I, it's because I couldn't see the horns, I think. So it wasn't as clear. Storage die. Ah, here we are. Tremendous fun for everyone. Oh, that's a respawn point. Okay, that, that one is for sure. Day, I love day. how all this is stored here. It's so cool to imagine, like, a what could have been with Joey Drew Studios and everything else that's happening here. These guys down the warehouse get to play games all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after them. Hey, Wally. So I said it to a look, guys, I said. Looks, guys, I said. <laughs> yep, you're out of here. Well, he's such a great character. Again, I, I, I really do feel like his catchphrase that I'm out of here and everything and how popular he is as a character is purely because of how much people loved that joke in like the first or well, the first chapter at least. And then the developers, you know, Meatly and Mike Mood were like, hey, let's just make that a running joke with the character. And I'm glad they ran with it. Or did they have that uh, plan from the beginning that would be that character's catchphrase? I don't know, because the first Bendy feel, felt more like a proof of concept passion project, and they like they didn't really have a mind of what they're doing yet. Also, I love these. It is a weird thing, but whether it's Disneyland or it's in a video game or something, I love themed trash cans for some reason. Like the ones in Security Breach that are based off the, the Glam Rock animatronics are also great. Um, the way they re-theme it all in Disneyland, depending on what part of the park you're in. I just think it's really cool the level of thought that goes into that. This haunted house seems like the way to go, but it's going to need some power. Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. Uh, it won't be in time, but we are on the way. Hello? Oh! Those open up right away. I didn't realize. Okay. But well, we gotta do this one first. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Alright, so... Weak, man, baby, brute, super, and I guess bendy. I. Why did that miss when I went down, but it hit it when I went up? Okay. There we go. What the heck? Are you having fun? I'm sure Boris doesn't mind waiting for his rescue party. Uh huh, Alice. So, just tell me, Alice, how are you seeing all this? Do you have hidden cameras somehow set up around the studio? Here's watching live feed. 
You're just a sick and twisted jigsaw or something. All right, so I believe throwing instead of the controls of like the mod was going to be trigger. So okay, not like that. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, but that worked because I hit enough down. Okay. Uh, this one. This one's about being fast. Being fast and not wasting shots. No. Missed that one. Got that one. Oh, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. I only missed one. That was good. First try. All right. Oh, hi, guys. You always look like you're melted into the wall when I come in. Oh, wait. Those are supposed to be like mascot suits that employees would wear. Oh. I completely misunderstood what these were the entire time. You know, get to see them up close like this. I understand now. These are like the... That's one. Again, character costumes. So you do for like meet and greets. Like, come take a picture with Bentley. And it's just an employee in a suit. That kind of thing. Watching in. All right. I don't know how I didn't realize this is what those were after all these years. Like, the game, at least the first chapter of it, is seven years old this year. All these years that I had no idea that that's what that was. That's that one. Okay. Oh, the butcher gang. Hey, this belt's all the way over here? That's kind of cool, actually. Looks like I've got some company. Hey, there. guys. Not some kind of weapon. I don't stand a chance. There's got to be a way around them. Who needs a weapon? All right. This will be fun to do in VR, just throwing the cans. Oh, wait. That wasn't even a pickup. That was just eat. All right, so I've got the bacon soup cans now. I'm going to pick up all of them. We're going to try to do this on just one go without getting caught. All right, so I need to throw it over to the right. I should be able to get a little bit closer before they see. Go. Oh, that's perfect. That was perfect. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm not going to sprint so they don't hear me, but we're good. Hi, how are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. All right. And there's another switch. And an audio log. The only thing that works around here is my ulcer. <laughs> these people don't know a wrench from a dang steamroller. Bunch of morons is what This is the most relatable character to any of the audio logs. Arguing over who's supposed to be doing what and playing them silly games. Still, I'm not complaining. I get most of my time to myself. Suits me just fine. Only thing that bothers me is that mechanical demon in the corner. That, right? That sounds about right for an animatronic in an indie horror game. I'm just saying. See, now this this would be really cool if I mentioned like bringing crafting back. It would be cool if they revisited this animatronic as an enemy type for a future game like the cage. Like, honestly, I think it would fit well in the cage. There's like experimentation and stuff like that. Like, just have an animatronic. Like, you could even have a spring trap type for this an animatronic with somebody inside of it. I think that would work really well in the theme of the cage. It would be a good callback to this part of the game. But yeah, I, I do feel like that was... A, supposed to be a blatant FNAF reference when they put that in there. An animatronic that moves when you're not looking. I know it's not FNAF didn't invent that idea, but it's another indie horror game, and we know Dark Revival it references FNAF with its uh, order for Alice's puzzle. So I would not be shocked if they did it in the first game as well. Alright. This is the king of indie horror, after all. Excuse me? Why is it doing that? Oh, crap. I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. Why did it just drop? Why, why are you over there? T 
Tuttle, get get over here. There we go. All right. So the good news is I should already have that other switch done. So I just got to throw this to the left. around here. They don't see me. Okay. That worked. We're good. It did it again. It did it again. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Gonna, I don't get to take these cans with me, so I might as well just throw them at you. Okay, that was okay. That glitch was annoying because I had that pattern down. Take this. All right, let's just get out of here. So we got that taken care of. So just gotta pull this lever. All right, now this should oh this should be the boss fight. I think it's carousel time. Not that door, the other one. Oh, this this is the highlight of the... Not just... This is like the highlight of the chapter for me, and I feel like it's one of the main highlights of the game, too. It's first proper boss fight. It's really, really cool. Ah, oh, here we go. Give me this. I'm gonna full-on bacon soup when I start this fight. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is great. Okay. I'm going to stand right here when it's happening, right at the desk. Tell it to me, Bertram. Joe, we just had to let you cook. That's all you had to do. Oh, Mr. Drew. Mm-hmm. That's an understatement. I built this park. It was to be a masterpiece. My masterpiece. Now you think you can just Oh, there's the music queued up. Trample me to the dust and forget me. No. Oh. Hey, Bertram. Hi, buddy. Now, let's remember here that this whole time I've been calling you Bertram and not Bertie, which you've already made clear that you don't like. So I think you should take it easy on me and you shouldn't try to kill me. Okay, we're going to do it this way then. Got Henry's axe back in his hands. Oh, this is so cool. I feel like this fight will work really well in VR because it's like very simple. Okay. The mechanics are simple, but it's really fun. All right, so hit. Hit. Can I jump over this? Oh, I can't. Oh, oh crap. Whoa. I almost got one arm, like, right off the bat. Okay, let's just move over here. Okay, okay. Just more to break, more to break. Okay, I got that. Uh, okay. Okay. I was turning so that I was facing my camera, Bertram. That was, you did not need to hit me right there. Oh, that arm's almost done. That arm is one thing away. I'm gonna bring that back over here. Stop right here and drop that. No. Okay. That's fine. I can get either of these. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, that lagged. I get a feeling that the particle effects and stuff are gonna lag me out a little bit during this, but that's okay. Okay, so that was the one, the other one that I got. That's okay. I didn't expect that would break. I forgot which one that was. Drop this one, please. Oh, it's dropping all of these. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break these first. Okay, break these. Come on, break. Now, quickly. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought I could get three right there. That way I can just get one halfway there and then break the other one. Come on, Bertram. Nope. Oh, of course it's dropping these. 
Run, Henry. Run through the laggy particles. You could make it. Okay, that one's good. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. I that still haven't got the one that has only one thing left. It's been sitting like that this whole time. Yeah, particle effects are definitely having trouble rendering in VR right now. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're going to break this one. There's just going to be a full arm left. Okay, back up, Henry, back up, Henry, back up. Okay, this one I think has all four on it. That's fine. We're technically three quarters of the way through the fight. Can I walk through this? No, I can't. I was hoping I could go around, but it makes sure that you can't. Back up, back up. Oh, through the flames of the lag. Fire the flames, but fire the lag. Oh, did that drop it again? I think he dropped it again. Oh, okay. Okay, run, run. Oh my gosh. Come on, Henry. Got it. Oh, that is laggy and blurry. Bye, Bertram. The boss fight is just so epic. You're literally fighting a carousel. Like, that is awesome. And the music during that whole thing is really great, too. Soundtrack of this game is fantastic. I hope we get it. I hope we get, like, I know everyone's talking about, like, oh, we should have Build Our Machine in the credits of the movie, kind of like how we had the Living Tombstone song in the FNAF movie. And I, and I get that from one perspective. That would be really cool. I'd be happy if they did that. But at the same time, it would feel weird to end a big bendy project and not have the credits, like, start playing Drawn to Darkness. Like it does at the end of this game and like it does at the end of Dark Revival. I feel like that should be the credit song of the movie. Uh, like you can have whatever mu whatever music and stuff you want in the movie as long as it fits the vibe of Bendy, but then that's an actual piece of game music that should be there. You can st you can still have like other fan songs and stuff pop up in there as cameos. I can't really cameo as a song, but I mean like as Easter eggs that appear like in like in radio, kind of like how it is in this game. How you can hear build our machine on a radio, have have it appear in the movie that way. I feel like that would be a good way to do it, but I do. The music of this game by itself is so good. I feel like you need Drawn to Darkness in the credits of the movie. All right, time for the last challenge here. Oh, it's Choo Choo. You're Doofenshmirtz's trade. Like, you know, he's like trying to lead a multiversal war because he lost you and turned truly evil. You might want to get back to him. Just saying, that, that might help everything. Literally would help everyone. <laughs> All right, the Buddy Boris Railway. <laughs> Again, why are you moving? There's no wind down here. We're underground. Well, there he is. Even though I killed you last chapter with the top. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you didn't like that, did you, buddy? I didn't think you could see me. Okay. Well, don't tick off the projectionist. You go back on your regular route. This is just a loop around the room. I'm going to follow you. So it's going to be a little slow, but it's the safest way to do it. I'm going to follow you around. And then I'll pull the lever and make a sprint for the stairs. <laughs> I love the, the goofy cartoon face on that train. All right, so keep it going slow. I can actually walk really slow because I'm technically using a controller. I gotta say, I wish that his vision was more limited, like maybe make his head move around a bit more to balance that out. But I wish that he wasn't able to catch you so easily because they always say, hey, stay out of his light is like the main gimmick. But then it's like he has incredible hearing as well, which I think kind of defeats the purpose of him being a projection monster. He's really cool, but I do wish he was a little more deaf.
You ready, buddy? Yep, see, he just turns right for me. Okay, go, go, go. I'm gonna hold down sprint. Because he is chasing me. Run, run, run. Oh, there he comes. Oh, he, oh, he is straight up sprinting at me. There we go. We're good now, Norman. We're good. And I'm going to take a celebratory photo over here. I mean, this is all set up and everything. Might as well use it. All right. So, cheese. There we go. Fun part is, because we actually have a bottle for Henry now, I can just put his... I'm just going to stand as still as possible and just edit his face in. There we go. That's what Henry looks like looking through there when he takes a photo. I don't think I forgot about Joey's audio log over here. I'm just waiting for the projectionist to be gone before I did this. Just believe. The irony where he talks about you just gotta be who you really are that does this. Keep railing on that. Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slot. Hmm? What? Still on? Well, turn it off, damn it. Oh, that's right. Still on. Huh, be true to yourself, Joey. What you are not doing in the audio logs until that moment right there. That's the true Joey. Alright. See you, Norman. We're. Nope, Norman. Norman, we're not doing this. Norman, we are not doing this. Oh, and because we don't get the horror vision, we actually get a pretty good look at this fight. Oh, Clash of the Titans. Let's go. I'm just going to tell you right... That was rude, Bendy. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I'm just saying, Nor Norman, you kind of put up a bit of a fight here and still got destroyed. You would have stood no chance if this was the Dark Revival team. That thing would have torn you apart before you could have done anything. Don't worry, buddy. We'll see your head in the pit later. All right, so there you go. That is all taken care of. Now we can actually enter the haunted house and finish this chapter up. I love this chapter so much. Again, each section is very different in its mechanics. It has a lot of world building and storytelling. It's so great. All right, back up. Back up. All oh, the haunted house is now active. All right, here we go. Turn back. Well, that's not really an option, unfortunately. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the ride at all times. Come in and pretend it's all just a bad dream. Oh, hi, I was just gonna say, hey, there's a boat right there. Boris, hello? It's a funny thing how so much can fall apart so fast. I mean, really had control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you Whoa. Were putting someone into yours. Okay, that texture was glitchy. It was like the demon was close. What was promised to me? I just want it to be beautiful. Yeah. Surely you can understand. I feel really sorry for you, Susie. You were definitely emotionally unstable and far too uh, connected to your character. Uh, but you definitely did not deserve what Joey did to you. Do you just enjoy the terror? The drop into hell? Not particularly. That's the case. Hang on tight. I've got a surprise. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Oh, this room is awesome. This is basically just a bendy themed haunted mansion, and I love it. Like the art style of like the wallpaper, you know, the giant chandelier, the creepy pictures on the wall. This is just straight up the Haunted Mansion. That's awesome. It even has an organ. I mean, come on. This is great. 
Uh, also, can I have the soup? Thank you. I'll just uh, drink and go as I go by. Oh, that's creepy. That could, She kind of reminds me of Betty in Dark Revival a little bit. Well, you know, clearly without the eyes, because we never see her face, but it does remind me of that a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, Boris. <gasps> Boris. Oh, no. What has she done to you? I did have to replay a bit of the chapter so, three, so your boat isn't a seat, but it, I did give it to you. I know it's out there now, but I did give it to you. This is going to be bad. Oh, my Lord. That was dis disturbing. Hey, Boris. Hey, Boris. 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 No, Boris. Oh, my gosh. I him so much more. Nope. this Nope, 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 No, let's not, counterpoint, let's not do that. Let's not tear me apart. Boris, Boris, come on. I know you're still in there, buddy. Oh, give me that, though. Okay, I'm going to take this. Oh, you down this way. You just run at me already? Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh, turn this, turn this. Oh, uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, now Boris, look, I'm, I'm gonna lure you away because I need to grab that thing that's on the ground right there. <sighs> okay, come on, come on. I get this, I get this, I can get this, I can get this. Oh, I did get it. Okay, now Boris. Oh, crap. Okay, give me this. I already got the ink. I already got the ink. Boris, you don't need to do this. You really don't need to. Oh, that hurt. Okay, put this in. Run, run, run. Oh, ow. Boris, look, we're good. I, I need to... Same thing. I need you to jump over here, and then I'm going to go grab that pipe that just spat out of that machine. And you're not going to do anything. Okay. Okay, now come on, come on, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, that hurt. Okay, did you have, did you leave one? There it is. Give this to me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, now Boris. Look, you, I think this is getting a little out of hand. We can definitely still talk about this. Okay, Boris, buddy. Look, I know, it's horrible what happened. It should not have happened to you. You're just a 17-year-old kid who doesn't remember who he is. Don't hit me. Oh, gosh. Come on, Boris. I'm trying, I really am trying to help you. I hate that I have to do this, but this is this is going to be better for us at the end. Well, technically, I'm trying to say it's better for you, but it will be better for both of us at the end. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, Boris. This hurts every time. I, I'm sorry, buddy. I know you're in there, and I'm sorry. Wait, can I see her running at me? Oh, there she is! Oh, there they are. Hi! It's so good to finally meet you in person, Allison. I remember when that happened, everyone was just like, what? <laughs> One of the craziest endings to a chapter in these games. <laughs> All right, chapter five, the last reel. There is a lot of dialogue at this, so I'm not, it's not, I'm not even going to let it load into the chapter properly before I pause and exit, because this is going to be next time we're going to finish off this game with Chapter 5, so I'm just going to pause it here because there's a lot of opening dialogue right at the beginning of Chapter 5. But that was Bendy Chapter 4. Like I said, it's my favorite chapter of the game. To be able to experience that in VR was so cool. I wish that it was a little better optimized because I did lag a bit, like meeting all the lost ones and during the carousel fight, but everything else ran really well. The Boris fight was really cool to see him just charging at you, throwing stuff at you in VR was so cool. 
and it's such a tragic end, but it's better that way, Boris. And we did see Alice die, and now we've got Allison and Tom with us. So that's where we're going to start off next time with Chapter 5, which will be the finale. The way that's going to do for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Please drop a like and comment down below if you did. And if you subscribe, you haven't already. I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys! Yeah.